what's going on YouTube? This is different. This is another thing I have to deal with from time to time. Some of these phones always come back as bad, not working, and ready for e waste. Then I'll power them up. It looks bad, doesn't it? It looks terrible. It's just got a little speaker light on, so no screen. That's just awful. Well, I found on these 7141 series, or 7941 series, see, it'll go into a little bit of a program afterwards. And so it's bad not working. Anyway, so let's go ahead and take that off because I don't think that is what's going on. Sometimes these phones get a corruption. And I will show you another spot that I go into and clear this out. Um, I'm getting rid of these, uh, these phones, so I have a lot of these to get rid of. So I'm having to go through each one and uh, run the uh, factory default on it. So see, we're, well, sorry to glare on that. Well, there we go, no glare. So we already got a time up there, so we can get into settings. Come on, settings, there we are, see? So what I always am concerned about is security, which is four. And this is where the certificates are, it'd be in the trust list. So if you do four and then do five, this will be an ITL file. You'll see up in the corner here, it's locked. So what I always have to do is unlock these. Um, so real easy if you just do uh, star, star, pound or hash. You'll see it'll come up unlock settings. So now we're unlocked there. So this is one of the settings now we can select and do something with. Um, and we have to force it unlock. This is basically your config file. So we'll hit the more button off of that. And we'll hit the erase. There we go. So what we also want to do is clear out these. So we do miss calls clear. Receive calls, clear. Place calls, clear. And we hit exit. So this phone, as of right now, doesn't have our settings like it did before. So we're not going to have a trust list ITL file. Boom, boom, boom. See, ITL file not installed. Configuration signed. There's just, there's nothing in here. There's nothing in here. It's empty, empty, empty. And that's kind of what you want. You want to make sure it's cleared out completely. And put in, you know, DHCP. IP address is just a random one at this point. Um, yeah, we can do that if we want to. Hit more. And erase, since we're unlocked, erasing the settings. But a lot of times I'll just do a factory default on these things. And uh, that's pretty simple to do. Um, real simple after we get, get this going, I can just uh, show you real quick how... I end up doing a uh, factory reset. So, yeah, we have to power down the phone real quick. Power it back up. You'll see this process. Bloom, bloom, bloom. And in that process, we'll hold down the star key. Or, I'm sorry, the hash key. Or the pound. Do, 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 do. And what we're waiting for is these demon eyes up here to go back and forth, blinking orange. 
And then I'll tell you the very special code it needs. A lot of people don't hold it down for enough time, so you end up with those bad, not working e-waste stickers on phones that are perfectly good and have no issues. Sometimes the config gets corrupted and has to be reloaded. Real simple to do is kind of what we're doing there. Okay, so we got our demon eyes up here. So we're going to put it in this very special code. Okay, write it down. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See, it already it already took it but you do the the uh, the whole key commands one two three four five six seven eight nine star zero pound and you're left with a, a rebooted phone here so it's going to take a second to go through this Cisco screen it's also good to do if you're getting these testing them make sure the screens good if you're going to resell these out which now, this label, we can go ahead and get rid of because it is um, factory defaulted. So, no issues here right now, so far. It's going to come up with our screen again. I didn't do it quick enough. So, we're stuck with that again. Dang it. So, we got to go ahead and do the default one more time. Which happens every once in a while in these things. Pain in the ass. But we'll show you the uninterrupted process sometimes of clearing out phones when you don't have the actual call software and you can't run the command on the network before you pull all these devices. So we got to wait, 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 wait. And we'll wait for those demon eyes one more time. And this force was going to be like a 10 minute video. Very close to it. Just on dealing with these Cisco phones. But hey, these are tried and true, rugged, and uh, the ones everyone um, used to have as a standard. So uh, it definitely did write the book on a couple of these uh, new IP phones. Okay, so we got our demon eyes and our test pattern. So we're going to do it real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, star, zero, pound, and one, boom. Now this thing's going to reboot. It's going to be put into upgrading mode. There's the IP address. So that's the factory default. Because now it's, it's, it's waiting for the files to, uh, to come out the software server to, uh, to load up here. So everything's ready uh, to go on this for resale. But that's also how you factor a reset one if you didn't get it. Factor a reset. So they are not always bad. They just probably need the uh, reset, which takes a lot more time and patience and a lot of people give these phones credit for and say send a new one corporate will and these ones uh you know a lot of them unfortunately get thrown in the trash just by because someone labeled it bad when all it needed was a nice reset and now this unit is good to go and ready for resale so all right 73s uh like share subscribe tell your friends about this weird goofy channel and uh, if you have any of these phones, and that Cisco command usually works on a majority of phones, especially that unlock command, and you can pull out a lot of the info. Um, so, fun little thing you can use and enjoy with the uh, new Cisco IP phone. Um, they're uh, probably a little bit different. I mean, all these displays are now color, and most of them have cameras and Skype built directly into it. So... Hey, at least if you have any of these in the 7900 series, we can uh, reboot these just by doing what I did there. So, all right, 73, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Hopefully something a little better as far as uh, something more interesting. All right, thank you all, 73s.